Remapping your keys is a very important aspect of boosting your productivity on Linux, and historically, there have been dozens of key remappers for different desktop environments, window managers, and Wayland compositors, with each one having their own syntax or a GUI, which you need to relearn when trying out another distro or just switching to a different environment. But what if I told you that there is a language-agnostic cross-platform solution that also works both on Wayland and X, that is extremely fast, written in Rust, and can also remap your keys per application, and all that while supporting Vim-like key sequences and modes? Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, X remap is real, and today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about it. To install X remap, you need to either use Cargo, the package manager for Rust programming language, or a Nixflake in which case, you need to check out a companion video that I have also released on the channel along with this one. When installing it with Cargo, make sure to use one of the features. The featureless command should also work for all variants not listed here, however it might lack application-specific rebindings. We can begin using the program by creating a config.yaml file anywhere in our system. xremap does not have a standard directory, but I would suggest .config .xremap .config.yaml for consistency with other applications. Let's try out xremap by adding a modmap key, where we can place simple key-to-key -key remaps. We can give it some name, like main remaps for example, and then just write out the keys that we want to switch. Say I want to switch caps lock to escape. I would need to type caps lock colon escape. If you don't know how a specific key is named, check out the link in the description with all of them defined here. The enum defines them with a key and underscore prefix, but you can avoid that part, so all three examples would be correct. To execute xremap with this configuration, run sudo xremap and then the path. However, if you don't want to use sudo, don't worry. GitHub page provides instructions to run it as a user for some popular Linux distros like Ubuntu, Arch, and Debian, and also other platforms. Gnome Wayland version also requires an extension, and KDE Plasma Wayland cannot be run as root so follow the instructions carefully. After following instructions for your setup, try launching xremap to see that it works, and let's go back to configuration. So we have this simple config, but what if I want to satisfy both Emacs and Vim users, and make caps lock be control when held, and escape on a simple click? Then we can change caps lock yaml key to this syntax, to define held and the long key separately, and even select a timeout in which it becomes held. But an absolute killer feature of xremap is pair application rebinds. We can duplicate a couple of keys in this mod map and make two groups, one for your terminal emulator and one for everything else. My preferred terminal emulator is Westerm and it has a following class, but application names can be different depending on your compositor, window manager or desktop environment. So here is the list of commands to get all active windows for some of them, and you can find these on xremap's github page. Now to make xremap even more powerful, we can add a keymap key to the top level and define remap groups here. The main difference is, we can now define key chords or key sequences like in Vim, execute commands on key press, and even define keyboard modes. Let's try it out by adding a super plus F key, which will launch Firefox. This will work, and if you want to have multiple command line arguments, you can just add them to this array separated by commas. But if you assign each application like this, you are going to run out of keys fairly quickly. So let's define a key sequence, which is going to start with a super plus D. Place another remap inside, and it will define next available key presses. And with this syntax, we can now press super plus D and then super plus F to launch Firefox, super plus D and then super plus T to launch Telegram, or super plus D and then super plus S to launch sound control panel. We have just made a ton of free space on our keyboard, leaving Super F, Super S and Super T for some more important functions, while still maintaining a clear key to application name representation in our minds. These key sequences can be longer, and you can make them 3, 5, 7 or whatever depth you need, expanding your range of available keys exponentially. And an even more insane feature is modes. Let's consider an example where we want to have two modes. The first mode, called default, will notify us with mode 1 message when we press on super plus i, and the second one, called alternative, will notify us with mode 2 when we press the same key combination. Additionally, we will include a super plus u here to allow us to switch back and forth between these two modes. We have just made a system similar to what we have in Vim with insert, visual and normal modes, but for entire keyboard. And knowing that, you can also use all of the previously mentioned features with these modes 
You can basically have an insane amount of keep combinations for different use cases, applications, and even some super specific situations. As usual, I encourage you to experiment with the options and share your cool ideas in the comments or on our Discord server. I'd like to thank the sponsors of this video, especially Hoskins for a 10 euro monthly subscription, and also Polycrelate for a recent 1 of 1 euro tip. These donations inspire me to put more work into these videos, and I am super grateful for both of them. Comment, leave a like, or subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.